Good morning from Chateau Walmart. It's been a minute since we've stayed at a Walmart. This Walmart in particular is very RV friendly, which is awesome. Often what happens when places like this are very RV friendly, some people can uh, take advantage of that. I've seen a few people with like camp chairs out, treating it kind of like an RV park and it's a little bit of a shame and I would wonder how much longer uh, this place is going to be RV friendly. But we're happy we got to stay here, went inside, got a little bit of groceries, and we are headed up into Utah. We're finally leaving Arizona after four months. It's been a minute since we've been up in Utah. I think the last time we were there was 2019 or so. So we're really looking forward to headed back up that way. The day is getting away from us here, so we're gonna get a move on. tell we're getting close to Utah by uh, these fuel prices here. That might be one of the only things we don't miss about Utah is the price of fuel. anywhere that we've been enough for me to just be I mean I know I have a jacket on but it's probably 75 and sunny and I missed this very much this place is called Valley of the Gods it's often compared to Monument Valley which is another collection of red rock formations that are out here but this one has camping right at it you know right in the middle of the scenic drive that runs through the entire set of formations so that's why we came here has such a different landscape than Arizona. You definitely know you're in Utah based on these rock formations. It's pretty unmistakable. It almost looks like Mars out here. And we've missed it a lot. It's been quite some time But you gotta let me know If I'm out of line But there's some words that I just wanna say To put it all straight before this night turns into day And then I'm on my way yeah. Yes, I'm on my way And so eager to please You 
know I played for love, but it got me on my knees. Now's the time to reap what I've sown. Your words echoing in every single bone. So far out at sea There's no cure For what you're telling me And soon I'm on my way Yes, I'm on my way This pain Phone Apple tea you see these tacos? This is like restaurant quality street taco going on out here. <laughs> it only took seven hours to make. It did. I'm so excited to eat. Carnitas tacos. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I don't Look think so. Look who's here. What do we have here? A taco thief? A taco thief? <laughs> what do we think? I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enough said. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Homemade tortillas. They're so good. And this carnitas was frozen. I made it like two weeks ago, but I pan fried it. So it's got little crispy bits on it. Very, very good. How about that salsa? Oh my God, so good. Fresh salsa. Like as much as I love a fresh tortilla, like fresh tomatillo salsa is like hard to beat. With a little avocado in there too. That's the way to do it. I would argue that onion, cilantro, and salsa on a taco is all you need. It's all you need. Maybe some cheese. We got a little fancy tonight. Add a little queso fresco on there. Diced white onion and cilantro and meat and salsa. That's all you need. It's the best kind of taco. Street taco. So it's like 10.30 and we just got done eating. Tacos are delicious and wonderful, but they are a labor of love. It took Greg all evening to put these together, but I couldn't think of a better way to start our couple of weeks that we're gonna spend in Utah. We were originally only planning on spending maybe a night here. We weren't expecting to have any service. Typically that's what we do. If there's no services, we leave the next morning. But there is a little bit of service here, so I think we might stay and just take in the amazing views that are all around us here for a couple days longer before we move on down the road. So we're gonna sit here and enjoy that for a few more days, and we will see you guys when we see you. If I'm out of line, but there's some